I don't know what's happening out here on the open range. Oh yeah. Hi, um, I'm Isam Abdi Fattah. I'm a research scientist at the University of California, Davis. Uh, in this video, you will learn when and where to use esophageal feeding uh, for uh, beef calf. There are two situations that you might need to use esophageal feeder. The first situation, when you have calf porn unable to suckle colostrum or are able to eat it by its own. The second situation, we have a thick calf that unable to eat or drink in like uh, a scouring calf. Esophageal feeders have a rigid tube that is inserted into the calf's mouth, a bag for fluids, and they may have a clamp such as seen here that allows to stop the flow of fluids into the tube. There is a bulb that helps to guide the tube into the esophagus rather than the trachea windpipe. And make sure you check the rigid part of the tube for sharp edges that could cause injury to the soft tissues of the calf. Measure the tube from the mouth to the shoulder to check how far you should insert the tube. You can mark the spot with a piece of tape. It is also a good idea to apply a bit of lubrication to the tube so it is easier to insert. When you're ready to pass the esophageal feeder, you can put your thumb into the corner of the calf's mouth so it will more readily open it. Gently slide the tube to the back of the mouth and aim slightly to the left where the esophagus is located and let the calf swallow the tube. Insert until the piece of tape is reached. Feel the left side of the neck to make sure you can feel the rigid part of the tube next to the trachea. Open the clamp and let the fluids flow. When finished, close the clamp or kink the tube and gently take out the tube. If you want to take blood from a calf, for example, to check whether it has consumed enough colostrum, it is very important that you have really good restraint. To visualize where to insert the needle, hold off the blood flow by pressing your fingers into the jugular groove and the jugular vein will become visible. Push the calf's head to one side and hold off blood flow with your non-dominant hand. And you feel for the jugular vein, which should feel like a bouncy, like a water-filled balloon. Then you insert the needle and then push the blood tube onto the needle holder to preserve the vacuum. You may have to redirect the needle if you don't immediately get blood flow. Here is another view if you have a helper who can restrain the calf for you. So you locate the vein by holding off the blood flow. You insert the needle and then push the blood tube onto the needle holder. If you push the tube onto the needle holder outside of the calf, you will lose the vacuum and you won't be able to use that tube any longer. And then finally, you can also get a blood sample if the calf is recumbent. For example, if it has been restrained by a rope, uh, but the technique for blood collection is the same as in the other two scenarios.